briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Upon cracking open the dusty law books, one comes across the 1953 Gabble v. Drury's Limited USA Inc. case. The contours of this case were shaped around an intriguing legal concept. A creditor could only claim priority over other mortgages if they could prove they had either given something of worth or incurred a liability, or suffered some form of loss or detriment when executing the mortgage or in the agreement process. Our story begins at a brewery. McCaffrey, indebted to Drury's limited to the tune of $20,000 for inebriating barrels of beer, signed over a demand note for $10,000, sweetening the deal by securing it with a mortgage on his property. In return, Drewris took the high road and agreed to forbear immediate payment. In a responsible move, the company reviewed public records, found no liens against McCaffrey's property, and considered the matter settled. But blissful ignorance doesn't last long in the world of legal intricacies and overlooked mortgages were about to pirouette onto the stage. Unknown to Drury's, there was another actor in play, one Gabble, who also held a mortgage on McCaffrey's property. As the litigation curtains rose, Drury's, armed with their formerly lien-free mortgage, stormed the court to foreclose, only to get blindsided by Gable, who filed a cross-claim to foreclose his own stealthy mortgage. The initial ruling handed down from the circuit judge favored Drury's, placing their mortgage in the superior position over Gabble's. However, the plot twisted once more as the court dug deeper into the definition of an innocent purchaser for valuable consideration. Their examination bore down on Drury's forbearance agreement, the value they offered, and ultimately their knowledge, or lack thereof, about the phantom lien held by Gabble. In a dynamic reversal, the court tossed out the lower court's decree and drafted a fresh one, this time singing a different tune. Drury's, who once sat high in the pecking order, found themselves demoted, stripped of their mortgage priority, while the elusive gabble was awarded an equal stake in priority to his hidden mortgage. The final decree echoed this change, reflecting gabble's victorious claim. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law, elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.